Yen from Aqua Mermaid, and today I will share with you how to wear a wig underwater. I'm really excited to do this video, and I'm really lucky to have a wig that came from Ocean Lux. It's a really cool company. They make different wigs, especially for mermaids. They do hair extensions, different lengths, different colors. I personally got an amazing pink purple wig. I was looking for something with a good length. That wig looks really nice, flowy in the water, with a really bright color. This is a really nice uh, gradient of uh, purple, light, uh, pink, and lighter pink at the bottom. And this is synthetic wig. Synthetic wig is really important because real hair in the water get destroyed by the chlorine. Then I will recommend go with synthetic if you're looking to go underwater. Also, I wanted front lace wig. This a front lace wig is one that you can cut the front lace and it really looks like if the hair is from your scalp. Um, then it re looks really realistic and also you can it's easier to glue uh, to your head that way it really stays solid on the water and you're not scared to lose it. I got with my wig one of uh, the tank top that they make uh, from Ocean Love. Just check the nice design here. It looks uh, pretty cool. Also, I got some tape, has glue on the both side, that way you can use it to hold your wig stable. This one is called No Shine Hair System Tape. Also, normally under a wig, you wear a wig net or wig cap, but I tried to use a swim cap because this time I'm going in the water. Then maybe that will help to protect my hair and uh, stay everything solid. If you're planning to do events on dry land and also underwater, I would suggest to have two wigs. One for the dry events and one for the underwater events. Because using a wig underwater will get it messy and also if there is nice curls or shape to your wig, it will lose it after a few swim. Then uh, I would say, yeah, keep your nice one uh, with nice shape for the dry gigs and another one that you can use uh, underwater uh, if it gets a bit messy or there's a little knot in it, you, that's fine because underwater it doesn't show at all. Also for underwater, go with the brightest color possible because when you put a wig or any hair underwater, it's gonna look darker than the real color. Then you want it to be as bright as possible that way you get a nice effect. Also, try to get something long. I really went for something long because uh, mermaids have long and beautiful hair and the longer you get, the more movement uh, you're gonna see in the water and it's gonna look amazing on photos and videos. Synthetic wig is the best because chlorine will destroy real hair and real hair and wig are really expensive, but synthetic you can get good prices uh, and they're gonna be the best for your need in the water. To make sure my wig stay on my head when I go in the water, I will use some wig glue, some tape, uh, and also uh, I would suggest to use a headband that you can make sure that it stabilizes your, your wig and you can use a few bobby pins if you want. Inside, I have some straps that I can adjust the wig to the size of my head. Uh, make sure to make it really tight. It may feel a bit too tight uh, outside of the water, but in the water, it needs to be tight because this wig full of water will be much heavier uh, and you want something solid. You don't want to feel uh, scared to lose your wig underwater and uh, look ridiculous. Then really go with the wig glue and uh, put some bobby pins and tie it up to the size of your head and you should be good. At the end, when you want to remove your wig, uh, there is a wig glue remover and also you can use uh, alcohol that uh, will really be helpful. And make sure to take care of your wig uh, using conditioner and brushing uh, your wig when you're done with it to let it dry. And you can sort of get another party. Now it's time to swim in the water, put it on. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have other questions or tips or tricks that we can share with the other mermaids. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel to learn more about mermaid tips and tricks for your mermaid life. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.